It must be my orange blood. This is in tribute to my mother, who was born Margaret Victoria Macmillan in Belfast in 1932. My memories of my mother um, when I was a child are of her baking and making clothes and making curtains and of her making a picnic, putting my little twin brothers in their pushchair and walking us all down to the beach on holidays. She went off and trained to be a nurse and then soon after she, she decided to emigrate to Canada and she got a boat from Liverpool to Montreal. She then travelled on to Vancouver in the west coast and lived with her aunt. Um, she then managed to get a job in the, a very small settlement which was a paper pulp mill and a logging camp in Port Alice on Vancouver Island and she worked in a very small hospital there which was only six beds and apart from the workers in the mill she often would treat local indigenous people. She still has a small wood carving, um, a totem figure um, which was given to her when she assisted with the childbirth. When I was a child we still used to get um, a glossy magazine delivered to us um, from British Columbia and in it there was shiny photographs of forests, of mountains, of lakes and I had this image of it as being really idyllic. My mother met my father in Canada and they then left and went to Belfast to get married and went to London to find work. My mother was quite an adventurous cook, I remember. Um, she used to cook Chinese and sometimes Indonesian curries and she always liked fresh ground coffee. Um, she also had very bold use of pattern and colour and used dramatic printed fabrics. And she used to make dresses for me and my sister out of very bright patterned fabrics. She was also really good at sewing and could upholster the sofa and um, all sorts of other things. I realise now that all of this forms the aesthetic background to my work as an artist. She herself did do some art classes and she went on to do stained glass and silk painting. She was also always very supportive of my career as an artist and um, I also think that her nursing background really influenced me in my work in the community and in socially engaged practice. I would also regard my mother as a feminist um, and I've also worked with a lot of different women's groups. Um, they include the Amal group in South Circular Road Mosque, the International Women's Support Group in the Lantern Centre and the Women Project in Dunleary. Um, I've also used pattern, colour and texture as a way of communicating across cultures. I realise that women's culture is often seen as lesser and that domestic creativity is often disregarded and that women's histories are invisible. However, I've discovered through a lot of my work that pattern and textile art are more important in non-Western traditions. When my daughter, Anya Katrina Byrne, started her career as a textile artist, both my mother and me were very interested. Um, it also came as a link back to the work of my grandmother, Annie Casson. She grew up in the New Lodge area of North Belfast and she worked with her many sisters in the linen industry and worked in the textile factories. Um, but she ended her career as an embroiderer of white on white fine embroidery on banqueting tablecloths. Unfortunately I never got to meet my grandmother because she died before I was born. It Must Be My Orange Blood is a textile tufted piece which was designed by me and made by my daughter Anya. Um, it was part of a piece called Prototype for a Meeting Space which was designed as a mobile transcultural exchange space um, that was designed to be welcoming, tactile and intimate. It was shown in Rua Red in 2018 
as part of Forum Transcultural Dialogues, which was curated by Zoe O'Reilly and Anthony Hockey.